Okay, so you're thinking about relocating to Lake Forest Park right here in the state of Washington, and you wanna find out as much as you can about this quiet little bedroom community about 15 miles north of Seattle. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be covering today. I'm gonna take you around all the spots in Lake Forest Park that you need to know about. We're gonna visit some shopping areas. I'm gonna show you restaurants, coffee shops, we're even gonna go check out a couple different houses that are right in that median price point for Lake Forest Park. We'll check those out. And if you stick around until the end, I got a special little warning or tip for you to help save you some money when you're driving around, rolling through Lake Forest Park. You're not gonna wanna miss this. It's cost me a few hundred dollars already and I don't even live here. So I don't want you to make that same mistake. So stick around, we're getting after it right now. Okay, we've got a fun one for you today. We're gonna jump right in, get to touring Lake Forest Park here. We are actually standing right now in the Lake Forest Park Town Center. So one thing about Lake Forest Park is it is a small community, okay? It's uh, not really small when you look at it on the map. You know, it actually takes up a pretty good footprint on a map, but really there's not a whole lot going on commercially here in Lake Forest Park. You know, like I was saying, it's kind of a bedroom community. Mostly it's just kind of single family residents, you know, uh, you know, big houses sitting on, you know, medium sized to larger size lots. So you're not going to see a lot of condos. You won't see a lot of townhomes here in Lake Forest Park, but you know, we are in the one and only kind of commercial area of Lake Forest Park right now. And they have quite a bit of stuff going on right here. It's actually two different levels. We're on the, the lower level right now. I'll take you up to the, the upper level here afterwards just to show you what's up there. But down here you have a, a Starbucks over that way. Hopefully you're not getting blinded by the sun here just looking right at it. But uh, there's a Mod Pizza a subway sandwich shop mod pizza is pretty good uh, if you don't know what mod pizza is it's a place where you go and you kind of order your pizza you know they make it in front of you and then throw it in the wood fire oven pretty good pizza you know pretty decent it's a good spot uh, they have an albertson's grocery store here so for grocery shopping this is where a lot of people that live in lake forest park like to come and do their grocery shopping papa murphy's pizza another pizza joint that's kind of the take and bake option there you cook that at home and then you have a, a Mud Bay Pet Supply Company. We have um, uh, Planet Fitness, get your workout on. You have a Ross Dress for Less, a little juice bar over there. And then right there directly behind me is uh, Third Place Books. That's a really cool bookstore. So it is a new and used bookstore, but it's, it's huge. Great place to go hang out. They have a coffee shop in there, some food options to you know go hang out but just a great spot for book lovers. You know, if you, if you love to read, definitely got to check out Third Place Books. It's a, a really cool place to check out. So, um, and then there's a Rite Aid Pharmacy, of course, got the, you know, drugstore right there. And then there's a hardware store right there. And if we look over this way, there's like a little dental office, a foot and ankle clinic, there's a bank. And then right there, that big building there behind me, that's City Hall. So City Hall Police Station all right there. So like I said, pretty, pretty quiet community, not a whole lot going on commercially. This is pretty much it. I'm going to take you up top. I'll show you what's up there. There's another restaurant, uh, some other little small shops, stuff like that. But, um, if you're looking for peace and quiet, you know, away from the hustle and bustle of Seattle, Lake Forest Park is going to have a lot of good options for you. You know, a lot of people that like to live here, enjoy kind of the outdoor life. We are located really on the northwest shores of Lake Washington and, uh, you know, good access to the Burt Gilman Trail, which is a really, really huge trail system that uh, if you like outdoor activities like jogging, running, biking, rollerblading, stuff like that, that's all right here, just across the way, actually over there, you might see people riding bikes and going by, but, uh, yeah, just a, a quiet community and uh, a great spot to call home if you're looking for maybe that larger home on a little bit larger lot where you're not right up against your neighbors. So um, let's let's jump up top here to the uh, town center area. I want to show you what's up there, and then um, yeah, we'll we'll see you up there. 
Okay, so we made our way up to the upper level here in the Lake Forest Park Town Center. And you'll see, this is the backside of that third place books. Uh, again, really, really great bookstore. I'll jump inside and get some video for you and kind of throw it up on the screen here so you can see just exactly how cool it is in there. But really, really great bookstore. Uh, backside of the hardware store here, there's uh, the Planet Fitness, the Ross, a couple different restaurants right here. You have the Lake Forest Par, uh, Lake Forest Bar and Grill, that's a good one. Uh, Everest Kitchen, that's kind of interesting. It's like a Nepalese or ne Nepali themed restaurant. I, I've never been in there. I've never even had that type of food, but um, you know, if it's, if it's something you're interested in, that's where you go right there. All I got are these damn Nepalese coins. Uh, but then, yeah, just a couple, a couple other shops right there. Uh, but you know, this is pretty much the extent of what you're gonna get in Lake Forest Park. You know, there's, like I said, just no other commercial spots. You know, there's like a little small sliver down in the, the very south end of Lake Forest Park. You're gonna see a little bit um, of commercial stuff down there, like a, you know, a couple of little fast food places, stuff like that. But this is pretty much it. All the rest of Lake Forest Park is just single family homes and that is pretty much what you're gonna get here in Lake Forest Park. So um, speaking of those single family homes, let's go check out a couple. I've got two set up that we're gonna go take a tour of right around that medium price point. The, the medium price point for homes here in Lake Forest Park is gonna be right around that $920,000 mark. And um, not a whole lot of homes on the market right now, but we're gonna go check out two of them and give you a good idea of what you're gonna get for your money here in Lake Forest Park. Okay, so we're standing out in front of the first house here, and this one is listed for 1.2 million, which is a couple hundred thousand higher than that median price point here in Lake Forest Park. Uh, remember I said that median price point is right around 920,000. Uh, this one, uh, great location. It's in the Sheridan, Sheridan Beach neighborhood here. Uh, kind of perched up on a hill above the lake. Um, like I said, this one's listed at $1.2 million, uh, built in 1954. A lot of the homes here in Lake Forest Park, you're gonna see that kind of mid-century, 50s, 60s, 70s. So that's what you're gonna you know, primarily see. Um, mostly single family homes, larger lots. But yeah, this one was built in 1954. It's a one story home, uh, three bedroom, one and three quarter bath. And this one is 1,920 square feet. So 1,920 square feet, uh, 7,700 square foot lot and uh, needs some updates, right? Definitely has that mid-century modern feel on the inside. I'll take you through, check it out, but just keep in mind, it needs some updates. 1.2 kind of sounds expensive, but let me show you kind of what you're paying for here. You'll see right behind me, the view. So beautiful views. That's Lake Washington there. Uh, you got the uh, Cascade Mountain Range right there. And uh, just really, really just incredible views of Lake Washington. This is kind of the northwest side of Lake Washington. So that's where a big chunk of the you know value in this home is coming from is the views of the lake that you're getting, especially on a day like today, beautiful day out, not a lot of clouds in the sky and uh, just fabulous. So let's get inside. I'll show you the, uh, the interior and uh, we'll check it out. All right, so the first thing you may notice is it's a little bit foggy outside. Now, I came yesterday, shot the exterior. It was beautiful, sunny, just a fabulous day. And there were a little bit too many people on the inside here to come in and film. So I had to come back today. And of course it's foggy and the, the view is not out, but you kind of got the idea from what I shot yesterday. But uh, so here we are right off the front door. This is your main living area. And you can see this place definitely is in need of some updates, uh, unless you love wood paneling and slate flooring, then hey, maybe it's perfect for you. <laughs> but, uh, it definitely could use some updates, that's for sure. So we walk in here, this is a, a dining area set up. You can go down this hallway, go to the bedrooms, 
or we can go back this way into the kitchen laundry area, which this space really could use some reconfiguring. You'll see they have the laundry set up just off of the kitchen, which, you know, I, I think that if uh, you were gonna redo this place, you know, kind of reconfiguring this kitchen setup would be a good idea. So you see this kitchen probably hasn't been remodeled since the probably 70s based on the colors I'm seeing. Look at that can opener. You don't see that every day. Now you could definitely open things up a little bit, maybe put the laundry units in a closet somewhere. But uh, this is a kind of a study area. A fireplace, the built-in bookshelves. Uh, yeah, you, your, your floor plan leaves a lot of options as far as you know remodeling, redoing the layout of this place. So you, you do have some options. So this is that hallway that we came in right off of the, the kitchen or the dining room right there. It all connects, but this is the primary bedroom. You can see more wood paneling. It's a pretty ample closet space right there. We have a little patio here off the off the primary bedroom. System here. That's for heating and cooling up there. And you'll see primary bathroom. Good size, but in need of updates. You'll see this every day. Cup holder, toothbrush holder. Pretty awesome. Let's head into the other two bedrooms down here. This reconnects us with the uh, laundry and kitchen. And then here's your shared bathroom. It's a three quarter bath. We have a shower here. first of the secondary bedrooms. More wood paneling. It's everywhere. You're not getting away from it in this place. And then the last of the secondary bedrooms. And unfortunately, we're not able to see the view, but just off this way, beautiful view of Lake Washington. I think I got a good shot of it yesterday, so you were able to see that. But, uh, but yeah, this one definitely needs some work. Has that mid-century modern feel, of course. And um, I think with some, some money put into it, it could definitely be a beautiful home in a great area with fabulous views. So uh, let's head to the next house and I will see you there. Okay, here at the second house, we are standing right out in front of a four bedroom, two and three quarter bathroom. This one is priced a little bit closer to what that median home price, that average home price that we're gonna get here in Lake Forest Park. This one's listed for $900,000, $899,000 to be exact. But this one is a split entry home built in 1990. It is 1,820 square feet with a little bit larger lot, but I think some of it is a little bit unusable. This hill here behind the house 
it's you know probably goes up there quite a ways so uh 12,320 square foot lot so larger lot but not really usable but you do get a little bit more privacy from it so um let's get inside check it out and uh, this one's actually been refinished so it does have um you know new kitchen bathroom everything like that has been done uh could use some work in the backyard i'll show you when we get in there and check it out but uh but yeah this one is moving ready ready to go so let's get in and check it out All right, got your traditional split entry here. You come in the door, you can go up the stairs or you can go down. So let's let's start up here. And like, as I mentioned, everything's been remodeled, redone. They've opened up this living area to the kitchen and dining room. They got updated windows. You got the you know, vinyl, vinyl windows, double, double paint, wood burning fireplace. Now move in ready. Nice appliances, stainless steel. This big center island here with the breakfast bar. Let's check out the backyard here for you. You know, as I mentioned, it could use a little bit of work. You know, maybe some work on the grass. But you do have a house right behind you here. And then this is kind of a hill heading up here. I'm not sure how well that's coming through on video, but new roof, that's nice. Don't have to worry about that for another 30 years or so. All right, let's head back to the bedrooms and bathrooms. Down this hallway here, we have three bedrooms upstairs, and then we have one downstairs with a bonus room. Here is the shared bathroom. It's a full bath. First of the secondary bedrooms right here. A decent size. Could easily fit a queen bed in here. Here's an additional secondary room. About the same size as that first one we were just in. In closet here. Not much of a walk in, but a closet nonetheless. And then here's the primary bedroom. Quarter bath, stand up shower, so let's head downstairs. So down here at the bottom of the stairs you have the doorway into the garage. The garage is pretty boring, I'm not going to go in there and show you that, but you know what a garage looks like. So full bathroom down here. Updated vanity, the tub surround has been updated. And we have the fourth bedroom down here. This is the smallest of the bedrooms. Probably a good office space. We have some storage under the stairs here. And then here is your bonus area, living area on the downstairs. Wood burning fireplace, 
separate area over here. You actually have plumbing hookups right there where you could put a little wet bar or if you wanted to go with a, a mother-in-law type setup, you could definitely do that. You got the plumbing, you got the, the drainage, <clears throat> everything's good to go right there. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's this one. And um, you know, like I said, right around that median price point for Lake Forest Park. So this is kind of what you expect. This is about average what you're gonna get. So, um, so yeah, all right, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll head out. I wanna go show you at the beginning of the video, I told you about the warning. Let's go talk about that. Okay, so remember at the beginning of the video, I warned you about something here in Lake Forest Park that you wanna look out for if you're gonna be driving around, spending a lot of time in Lake Forest Park, and that is right behind me here. See that big box up there on the pole? Well, that's a camera. That is actually checking people's speed, uh, you know, radars, their speed, what they're doing. If they're going one mile an hour over the speed limit, they get a ticket sent to them in the mail, which is expensive and it can add up, especially if you have a couple of those like me. And I don't even live here in Lake Forest Park. And I've gotten tripped up a couple times just showing clients here in Lake Forest Park. And uh, you know, even if you're going 26 miles an hour, they are going to send you a ticket. So something to be mindful of. There's, they're, they're kind of spread out all through Lake Forest Park here. A couple of them are red light cameras. So if you don't make a complete stop at a red light, this one in particular is for speed limit. So, you know, it depends on how you look at it. It might not be a bad thing. It's kind of good. It keeps people from not speeding through your town, which is great. But if you're like me, where sometimes you might have uh, you know, a, a moment or two where you forget and you're going just slightly over the speed limit, then it, it can cost you and it's going to add up. So something to be aware of, you know, I know Lake Forest Park makes quite a bit of revenue off of these red light cameras, these speeding cameras. So, you know, it's just kind of got to take the good with the bad anywhere you're living. And this is to me kind of one of the bad things here about living in Lake Forest Park is you gotta watch your speed limit diligently or you're gonna pay for it, get a ticket. So, you know, just something to be mindful of if you live here, if you're moving here. And you know, hey, if you are thinking about making a move here to Lake Forest Park or any of the surrounding communities here in Seattle, we'd love to help you. Whether you're moving next week or next year, never too soon to reach out. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We're happy to help you make that smooth move to Seattle, Lake Forest Park, Bothell, Bellevue, anywhere. Just give us a call. We're happy to help you out. And you know, hey, if you wanna learn even more about Lake Forest Park, click on this video that's popping up right here. This is a map video. I jump into Google Maps, take a complete map tour of Lake Forest Park, show you the spots you need to know, go over commute times, everything like that. So if you wanna learn more, Click on that video right there.